friends and welcome back to my channel today. Today's video we are going to be doing a doper nope on the new Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man Tells No Tales collection. Yeah, I love saying it like that. It kind of reminds me of like the ride at Disney. Love it. A ton of you guys requested to see a doper nope on this collection so that is what I'm bringing you guys today. But before we get into the video, make sure to click that subscribe button if you're brand new. Also, don't forget to hit the bell as well if you want to get notified and be a part of the notification squad. And also, a huge shout out to Emily Franco for having your notification bell turned on. You are awesome. Make sure to comment down below that you're a part of the hashtag notification squad if you want a shout out in a future video. Now let's go ahead and get into this doper note. Yeah. All right, so first off in this collection is the eyeshadow palette and this retails for $52. This is what the packaging looks like. It's really nice. It's like, it's a pretty bulky packaging. So I don't know if it's like the best for travel, you know, but it's actually really, really cool. This collection is super exciting, you guys, especially if you're a huge fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, which I'm so excited that they're finally coming out with another one. It's been a long time. And I actually just did like a whole marathon of watching all of them because I have them all. And it's crazy to see because I remember the first one, I think it came out in like 2003, you guys, like a long time ago. And Orlando Bloom looks so young. He's so hot. Although I have to say I like him better in Legolas. All right, so now I'm getting sidetracked. But this is what it looks like inside. You get a big mirror and then you also get 18 eyeshadows and then also a pro eyeliner. And this is in the shade black. It's just a black eyeliner pencil. I'll swatch it for you guys right here. Their eyeliners are very creamy, really comfortable. So I'm happy that they included that in there. Especially, I rather, I like it better than a brush to be honest because I have so many brushes and I'm like, I could use another black liner. And plus they're really good from Lorac. But now again, back to the eyeshadow palette. So the only thing that I have against this is that this is $52, which I think you're basically paying for the packaging. If you compare this to the Lorac Mega Pros, those are $59 and those have a total of 32 eyeshadows. So those have 14 more eyeshadows in this one and it only costs $7 more. So that's the only thing that I'm kind of like, oh, they really hiked up the price tag on this for the packaging, but the packaging is pretty legit, you know? Because look, even on the side right here, you can open it up right there and you could put the cheek palette inside of there, which is really awesome. It's like a treasure chest. Oh, it's gone. Yes. So that's definitely a cool function to it, but remember you buy these separately, they don't come together. You get a good range of matte and shimmer shades in here, which is awesome. And honestly, you guys, Lorac has like the best formulated eyeshadows. They are my like all time fave eyeshadows. They're super blendable, super pigmented, super creamy. They do get a little bit of fallout to them, but it's not like unbearable. I feel like you only get that kickback when it's in the pan. I don't really notice it when I put it on my eyes, but I absolutely love them and I think they're definitely worth it. The shade range in the palette, to me, like looking at it, it looks very earthy tone and very fall-like. It doesn't look like something I'm going into the spring and the summer with, but it's not a spring or summer palette. It's a collector's edition palette for a movie. So I see where they're coming with the shade range right here, but let's go ahead and swatch a few. I'm gonna have swatches on the side for you guys just to save time. So you can see swatches of all of them, but we're only gonna swatch a few. So first off, I'm gonna go with C Haze right here. I'm gonna swatch it on my arm. So there it is on my arm right there. It's a pretty kind of like seafoam green shade. Definitely see where they got this color from, but it's really pretty and very unique. I actually don't have a color like this, so I like that one right there. And then let's go into a matte shade. Let's go into Tell No Tales. This is more of a dusty purpley shade right here. So there it is on my arm, another really gorgeous shade. I love their mattes, you guys. Their mattes are so creamy and buttery. Um, let's go and try Cursed. Cursed is a glittery black. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, see, you guys can just tell right there. These are formulated so well, definitely worth it. Um, you know which one I really wanna try? I wanna try Ghostly, cause Ghostly is like a stark white, so this might feel a little chalky cause this might be kind of hard to formulate. Oh no, it's not bad. It's not like dry or anything. It actually like felt creamy and blended out really nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, Lorac always impressing me. I really wanna create like a fun look with them, you guys. Like I think it'd be really, really fun. 
But yeah, these are awesome. You can definitely like create different looks. I definitely can see where you could do some more natural looks, kind of sticking with bones because bones is like the perfect like transition shade. Yeah, I mean, do I think this palette is going to be for everyone? No, because it's a limited edition palette that's gearing towards a movie. So I don't think this is for everyone. I don't think this is for every day, but I do think this is really fun to have in your collection, especially if you're a Pirates of the Caribbean fan. And if you like shades like these, I mean, I think these are perfect for going into the fall time, even though we have quite a bit of time before we head to that fall season. But I think they're really pretty. I really wanna try Starry Night. Oh my gosh, look at Starry Night, you guys. Starry Night is a really pretty kind of almost like cerulean blue. It's got like a little bit of ice to it. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay, I really like it. I definitely give this palette a dope, you guys. I think it's definitely worth it if you like the shade range, if you're a huge fan of the movies and you wanna just like collect this as well. I think it's definitely worth it, but it is pretty pricey. And again, you are paying for that packaging because this packaging is very, very sturdy, you guys. It's got like a compass on the front, it says treasure in the stars and all that fun stuff right there. So yeah, I definitely think it's worth it. All right, so next up we have the cheek palette right here. And again, this will slide right into that palette if you decide to buy that palette as well. But when you open this up, you get a mirror inside. And also, if you guys wanna notice, it's very thin. I really, really like that. And you get a total of six shades in here. You get, I wanna say about four highlighters and two blushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these real quick. Again, there's gonna be up close swatches on the side. I'm just gonna swatch these. So the first one that we have is Fortune, which is a gorgeous icy highlight right there. You can really also mix these together. The next one that we have is called Destined, and this is more of like a rose gold. Oh my God, you guys, these are so creamy. Lorac is seriously so underrated. I don't know why more people don't talk about them, but that one is so creamy right there. And then we have Star Reader, which I have to say is probably my favorite. It's more of a champagne shade. This also will look really gorgeous if you mix it with Fortune, which is this icy white up on top. Those are really pretty. And then the last highlight that we have here is called Bold Spirit. This one could be like a blush topper or it could be a really pretty highlight if you have a darker skin tone. And this has a little bit more pinkiness to it. See that? So we'll put it D. They're so creamy too. Oh, I love Lorac's like highlighters, you guys. Check out their light source highlighters, you know, just in the single pans. My favorite one, I believe it's called, what's it called, like Moonlight or something? I don't remember what it was called, but definitely check them out in Ulta stores, you guys. I don't know if they sell those ones in Kohl's or not, but they are gorgeous, I love it. And then now let's go ahead and go into the top one, which is Lost Soul. This could honestly go as a blush or a bronzer, depending on what you want it for. But that's really pretty. I like how neutral that is, because that's gonna go with so many different looks. Um, and then the last one that we have here is Caribbean, which more, which is more of a dusty rose shade. Oh yeah, that one's really pretty. These are like one of my favorite blushes to wear in the fall time, you guys. That's really gorgeous because it has a cool tone to it. It's not gonna accentuate any redness in your skin. So say if you have like acne marks or anything like that or any red in your skin, it's actually gonna cool everything down. So I really, really like that one. That one's really pretty. When I was talking to the employees in Ulta, they were telling me how much they love this collection. They're like, yeah, we all went and just bought it all because it was so good. They're like, their cheek palettes are so good. And everyone's saying too, they're so underrated and they definitely are. I think you guys should definitely take a look at this. I have to give this one a definite dope. The quality is amazing. I do wish they didn't put as many highlighters in there and maybe put one more blush shade. I think that would be really great but I do think it's a great palette. I really, really like it. And these two shades will go with so many different looks that you could create with that eyeshadow palette. But yeah, packaging, everything is just amazing on this because also it's very sleek, easy to travel with. And I also almost forgot to mention that these shades right here are also almost full size products. They're not full size, but they're almost full size. Like they're very close. So you definitely get a really, really great deal with this palette, you guys. Like you're definitely saving a lot of money. 
All right, so last but not least, we have the lipstick and lip gloss little sets right here. They came out with six of them. I only have two, and these retail for $26. They came out with a pretty cool shade range. They even have one that's blue, so if you really wanna have fun with that one, that's a cool one to get. But the ones that I have here are Trident and Barbossi. I hope I'm saying that right. I always say things wrong. It's like, you know, it's like the character Barbo Barbosa. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, but yeah, it's in the shade Barbossi. Hopefully I'm not butchering that. But again, they came out with six different shades. The first one that I'm gonna swatch for you is the first I'm gonna show you guys the packaging. The packaging is legit. Like these are really nice. And also it comes with a mirror right here, which is really cool. But when you open it up, there's your lipstick right here. I really like their lipsticks too. They're actually really comfortable. Um, here is that shade. Again, this one is Trident. This one is a really pretty kind of like peachy nude. And then here is the gloss. And the gloss is just a nude gloss. You could put this on top of this or you could put it on top of a lip liner or wear it by itself, whatever works for you. This one is definitely a really good like everyday shade. All right, so the last one that I have here is Barbossi, and this one is a little bit more of a darker brown. Kind of reminds me of like 90s, you know? All right, so here's Barbossi. It's definitely a trademark like 90s brown shade. It actually reminds me a little bit of 1993 from Urban Decay. These also have a little bit of a creamy finish to them, so they're not completely matte, so they're gonna be more comfortable on your lips. And then here is the gloss, this one. Oh, this is pretty. This one has a little bit of metallicness to it. It's like really, really pretty. Check out that gloss. Ooh, I like that. This one is definitely very wearable as well. I think this would be a great shade to wear during the nighttime because it could really like amplify a look. And I'm really loving bolder colors right now too because I feel like they just tie in everything so well. And yeah, so that is definitely a gorgeous shade too. All right, so these I definitely have to give a dope just because they're really fun and they are $26, so they are kind of pricey. But remember, you're paying for packaging and you're paying because there is quite a bit of product in here. There's a lipstick and a lip gloss that goes with it. So I think these are really fun and I really like the fact that they come with a mirror on it too. That's really cool. So yeah, those definitely get a dope. All right, so that is everything in this Lorac Den Men Tell No Tells Dober Nope. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very honest and I'm gonna tell you if I don't like something and if I do like it. And I really like these, you guys. I love Lorac. I rave about Lorac all the time on my channel. I'm like never disappointed by them. So yeah, I definitely think it's worth it, especially if you're a huge fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean, definitely. I mean, is it for like the average person? Probably not. I think it's for people that are a huge fan of the movies and also are a huge fan of those shades as well. Cause I think that they're formulated really, really good. So yeah, I definitely have to give the whole collection of dope. I think it's definitely worth it. I think it's so much fun too, especially with the fact that you could put this palette inside the other palette. I'm like that's cool that they did that. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this collection and let me know if you purchased it and what you think about it and if you like it or not. I always love getting your guys' opinions as well. And also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more Doper Nopes and which collections you guys wanna see a Doper Nope on. Make sure to comment those ones down below so that way I know for future videos. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.